Hi guys, Vertus Education here with episode 8 of the CryEngine 3 SDK Beginner Tutorial Series. And in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to move specific areas of the terrain, or simply just clone it without much effort. So, so far I've gone over quite a lot of terrain editor stuff. However, occasionally you may want to move a certain area and all of the stuff uh, accompanied with it, without having to rebuild it entirely. Instead, you may want to just copy and uh, essentially copy and paste a piece of area and all the objects. If you do not have this tool, you know, you will have to, for example, if you wanted to make this tier, uh, this pier, you'd have to re-sculpt the entire area of this terrain here, you'd have to dump in all the meshes again and so on and so forth. Having said that, CryEngine actually provides us with a tool which allows us to select an area inside of our scene and then also select a target and then essentially just move that area over to the target area uh, and you also get a bunch of properties to to find the area and what you want to move and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So in the roll up bar over in the top left, uh, top right hand corner, go to the terrain tab and then click the move area button. Over here you'll see a bunch of properties that you can play around with. The most important of the two being select source and select target. So select source essentially allows you to select uh, what you want to clone or move and then the target allows you to uh, define where you want it to be cloned or moved to. So before we do go ahead and define those, make sure that you check sync height, otherwise there will be inconsistencies in the height and uh, it won't be replicated properly from one to another. I don't need to explain it in detail, but uh, just make sure you do have it checked for the most part. So once you've done that, you need to go ahead and press select source. So for example, I'm going to be trying to select this pier here, so I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, select source and just drag to wherever I want uh, to whatever I want to be selected so you'll see we get this little box around our little thing here so this shows us exactly how much of it is going to be captured you can actually change the size and proportions of this box to capture more of what you want so for example over here we have the X Y and Z properties so you can see that right now it's relatively well captured however if I wanted to for example I could just go ahead and move it uh, a little bit closer in on the Y axis to be more precise uh, just one word of warning whenever you are doing this make sure that you've only got what you want to move in this little box you do not want it to pick up for example this area here and then add it to the side here you know you just want what you want to be uh, included so now we've got our source uh, actually before I go ahead and move on to that I just want to note that you can use a transformation tool to uh, move your uh, source and target once you've uh, placed it into the scene if for example you don't get exactly how you want so next we're going to go ahead and select the target the target will retain the uh, proportions and size of um, the box that you created previously and as you can see in my scene I can uh, just click select target and then just select wherever I want it to move to and uh, boom there we go so now we actually need to either clone or move so cloning and moving to the uh, moving parts of the terrain are completely different things so down here we've got copy and move buttons copy will essentially uh, copy this bit over over from here over to there but it will not delete the original whereas if I press move it will just get rid of it entirely and just move it over here and then this will look a little weird because it will be empty and then we're just going to have to re-sculpt it out. Anyway, uh, whichever way we are going to have to make some minor changes to the terrain uh, once we've moved it to make it all uh, consistent, smooth and so on and so forth. Uh, there is also two little checkboxes over here which we can play around with before we do go ahead and press one of these buttons. So these uh the source uh will capture not only the terrain but also the vegetation and objects that you place on uh on your uh, terrain. So for example if you only want the vegetation to move like the plants, the rocks and so on that you place check only vegetation or if you only want the terrain and no objects to move just press only terrain. Now if you leave both of these unchecked it will um, 
copy both the terrain and all the vegetation objects which you have. So for now I'm just going to go ahead and press copy because I don't want to move it entirely and you'll get this little uh, pop-up box here which says cannot store complete undo for this operation. Basically, what it's trying to say is that you will not be able to just go to like edits and then undo and then just go back. So having said that, do save uh, some kind of backup, give it a different name just in case. Um, but yeah, so if you don't mind this, just go ahead and press ignore and you'll see that it should go ahead and move over. So there we go so I just pressed move there and you will see that it's moved over entirely so I'm gonna do that again quickly I'm going to move my little target area I'm gonna move it over here and I'm gonna go ahead and press move press ignore and boom it should come into our scene so the reason it's not actually copying now is because I just moved the target area However, the source area is still in the exact same position, and seeing as it's there, it doesn't actually have anything to capture. So I'm going to move the the source back over to where the new stuff is, uh, where the new stuff is, and then uh, the target. I'm going to set it to where it was originally. So I'm essentially just going to be moving it back. So let's go ahead and do this. This is the target uh, area gonna go ahead and press move now ignore and you can see that it's moved it back so once you do go ahead and start copying and moving parts of your terrain you will see that there is some deformations for example you know we might get all uh, leftover bits so using the terrain edit uh, the terrain editor you might want to go ahead and like flatten out certain areas start smoothing them to make them look a little more consistent and so on and so forth so you can see in my in my little viewport now that's what I'm doing just getting rid of all the little inconsistencies and the bits that stick out that we don't necessarily want uh, and these will uh, definitely appear in um, the places where you move from and also you know you may have to adjust uh, may adjust the target area you know where it's been moved to to make it look all consistent uh, with what you actually wanted you know the terrain that you're adding it to will not be perfectly shaped uh, for it so you're just gonna have to play around with that a little bit also whenever you do this I advise that you go over to the terrain uh, drop down in the top left hand corner and then just go to reload terrain and then it'll just reload it and get rid of any um, uh, little bad bits. I'm not going to explain it, but just I advise that you do it. Anyway, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this tutorial. Uh, now you should be able to move and clone specific areas of your terrain. So having said that, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.